Here's a K&E compensating polar planimeter and this is one inch square and just to show you that I'm gonna this has got a bullseye on it I'm gonna put this on the corner of that square I'm gonna go through and center this with this little wheel so there's a zero here centers and that other zero and I can trace around the square with a little magnifying glass and I'm kinda of a little bit sloppy about it but this reads one square inch if I go around here ten times that'll move one unit over here and that's ten square inches so what you do is if I want to measure this weird amoeba shape just looking at it, it looks like it's maybe probably one and a half to two I'll put this little gizmo on some starting point and I'll go over here and set this to zero again and then you trace around here kinda of like going around a little track I'm gonna go pretty quick here just so it's not too boring but you run around try not to run off track very much you can always go multiple loops there it is it's about 1.9 square inches and you can go around many times and average it out but this is a K&E compensating polar planimeter this is a 6-2 with four zeros now so you can see the wheel a little bit easier I'm going to zoom in on just the wheel there and go over here and run around the same square I've got it centered on the square I'm going to come over here center this to zero and then I'm going to trace around the one inch square you do this on these type of devices to miss to kind of make sure you know what the heck you're doing more elaborate ones have an adjustable arm you can change the gain there it is with one let me shoot this again from a bleak angle here there's my reference square that's one inch I've measured with a ruler and I'm gonna put this little magnifier has a bullseye on it set this to zero run this around real quick has a magnifier and there it reads one and to measure this weird amoeba shaped thing I can put this over to some starting points like a little racetrack you can imagine you're your dirtback rider going around this little weird trail or amoeba outside and I just go this real quick I'm being kind of sloppy here but and there it is it's about 1.85. Last one I got was 1.9. There's also a little goober calibration tool here that is marked, see 10 square inches, and it just has a tack on it in the bottom. And you put this in here and run this around, and this holds the indicator, and the radius of this is such that in that circle is 10 square inches. So I'm going to put this so it snugly holds that and when I put this uh, hold the tack down I'm gonna go across the starting line that I've drawn on there set this to zero and this is a little bit harder to do because it wants to jump out of the track I'm just holding the thumb tack down hoping not to have a derailment arm in the way sorry about that there it crosses right there so this reads back to zero and this reads a one I don't know if you can see that so this has gone uh, that means 10 square inches and this is the device here 10 square inches it's just a test tool now in some planimeters like uh, this one is the K&E 62 uh, zero 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 comes in a case like this it has the more elaborate ones this arm is adjustable and this one particularly reads out in square inches you can uh, get these arrayed in uh, centimeter square centimeters uh, you can go ahead and on some more elaborate models this arm is adjustable and that changes 
what the readout you get. So you could have this to be used for a metric, any weird units you want to, Klingon, whatever. So if you had some universe that this was some weird unit, you know, clogs or something, you can run this around and set this so that this is one clog if you adjust the length of this arm. And so the more elaborate ones have an adjustable arm. Now if you ever buy one of these with an adjustable arm, what you always want to do is do this test where you run around a known item, you know, square inch, a square centimeter, square centimeters about like this. Draw it with a ruler, draw a bigger figure, run it around and just make have a sanity check of what you're reading on here. Because if it's got an adjustable arm, somebody could have gone and put it in the wrong position, you may not have the instruction book. Anyways, that's the Caney compensating polar planimeter here. Just doing a little video on.